As we come around the table, the Lord's table, again today I wanted to think about a few thoughts from Hebrews chapter 9, verse 26. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world, and this is the part I want to consider today, but now, now, once in the end of the world, he hath appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. This is, um, there's a sense in which J Jesus sent on a mission from his father, and his mission was very singular in this sense. He was sent to die. There had to be sin if God was ever going to redeem men. The thing that was in the way had to be taken out of the way. And that was sin. It was like a wall that shot up between God and man and there was no remedy. God gave man an abundance of years to be able to work this thing out on his own. He even gave him the law to prove to him that he could not take away his own sin. Man, not only did, did, did God realize this, but he knew that man had to realize that I can't do it. Remember one, one, one of the prophets said, what do I give? What, how can I do this? How can I take away my own sin? Can I give my own flesh? Can I do that? Will that be enough? I can't do it. Man's born into trouble. As the sparks fly upward, there's nothing. You're, you're, you're dead in trespasses and sins. And if you're ever going to be alive to God, then this one that God sent to take away iniquity is going to have to set his face like a flint towards Jerusalem. He's going to have to submit to the eternal purpose of God, and he's going to have to voluntarily lay down his life, a ransom for many. Now, this was something, Jesus was single-hearted in this devotion of his father to come and lay down his life and do this, to take away sin. This is much more comprehensive than I fear many have considered in the day we're living in. This thing of taking away sin. Now, if Christ really did take away sin, we got to reason this backwards now, then how is it possibly being found in me? You see, it's got to reason this out. If he did take it away, now if I am in him, then there is no sin. Now, he did put it away. Jesus, when he was hung on the cross, God vented the wrath, his wrath, Wrath against sin was laid on Jesus. He, he, we're given testimony all through scriptures about what it was going to be like for Jesus to bear the iniquity of many. That it was going to please God to bruise him. He was going to do that. Why? Because God had something that was great. There was something greater than sin, but it, it had to be taken away. But in order to get there, it had to be taken away. So he did. He smote the shepherd. Why? It was for the for the sheep, for this eternal purpose that in the ages to come, he would be able to show his kindness. Well, look at, look at the effectiveness of sins put away at this table. He did. He, he, he put it away. And now we're looking, see, we're longing for another time. See, we, we're going to take to this is my body, which is broken for you. It was broken. Why? It was to take away sins. It was the blood was shed. Why? To take away sins. So that we could come into the presence of the Father. We look, we remember this till he come. See, there's a time that he's in a second time, he's gonna come back. The second time he's gonna come without sin. Without sin. What happened? He he took it away. He took it away by the sacrifice of himself. We come to this table not to remember the sin, but the Savior from sin. Yeah. See, the one that, that was capable, he was God's fit. He was, the, he was the only actual man that God recognized. This man, Christ Jesus, this one that would come. And now, how do we benefit of it? Well, we benefit our association of being in him. We believe the record that God's given of his son. We believe that this, this alone is sufficient to obtain everlasting life, to be in him where there is no sin. So I, I praise God for the sacrifice. He, he, he gave himself to be the propitiation or the covering or the thing that God would look at instead of you 
in order that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And so as we're coming today, we're not coming as a bunch of lost people. This is the redeemed. This is the, that's who prefers this table. The saints of God, those that have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. What's the thing that your heart's really set on more than anything? Is remembering Christ, being one with him. And this, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to remember his death till he come. Well, I praise God for Jesus and for the, remo the re remission, the remission of sins.